What do you think about putting your pot rack in a cabinet? So I'm trying to make cooking easier for our family and one of the big problems is dealing with pans. So right now our system is we have a dishwasher, wash the dishes, and then we put them in a low cupboard. They're kind of a pain to get out. You have to really bend over and look for it. And there's always someone standing in front of that cupboard because it's right in front of the cooktop. So what I did is this actually used to be three drawers here, but because the drawers kind of were hitting each other, it wasn't very user friendly. So I took the drawers out and I added a cabinet door. And we've got just a blank cabinet here. Originally I was going to add shelves, but I thought that you know might not be the most convenient way to store pots and pans in here. So I'm going to build an organizer down in the garage for all the pots and pans and lids. The first thing I'm going to do is cut all of my boards. And I'm using pretty much all one by boards. So it's just a matter of putting it on my miter saw and chopping and getting all the cuts done. This pots and pans organizer is going to be three pieces. There will be a center pullout that hangs all the pots and pans, and then there will be lid organizers that slide out on either side in the upper portions. It'll all make sense in a second. Um, thus, I'm going to work on the pots and pans slide out first. So basically, it's going to be two two by twos that hold the drawer slides, and then there's going to be a two by four that comes down. So I've got two two by twos cut, and I've got a 24 inch full extension drawer slide, and I've taken the inner member out and what I'm going to do is attach the drawer slide to the 2x2. Two two. I want it to be level with the bottom of the 2x2 two two. so I'm on a flat level surface. I'm going to make some marks where I want to pre-drill holes. Okay, I'll change my bits and I'll um, attach the drawer slide now. that step but I'm going to make one more and it's going to be in mirror so they face each other. Okay so those are in mirror and they're flat to the bottom edge and they slide out like this. Okay so now I'm going to work on the center piece and let me show you what I got going on here. Um, this will go in the middle and it'll have the inner part of the drawer slide on each side of it. But I want to mount it, I want this to hang down so there's plenty of room for the pots and pans organizer hooks to go in there and for you to grab onto that. So I'm going to mount this at the top of the 2x4, and this is just a 2x4. Uh, the main thing is, is that the drawer slides are going to bind if, if you don't mount everything exactly level. So I'm using my flat surface as a guide on this as well. I'm just going to repeat that on the other side. So I've got my drawer slide cabinet members mounted on the 2x2s two and I've got my drawer slide drawer member mounted on the 2x4. And if you'll notice I've cut these boards to match the length of my drawer slide. So this is a 24 inch full extension drawer slide. Um, I measured them and cut the boards to the same length as those so it all works out. So you want to measure the inside of your cabinet and see what you're working with. It's probably 24 or 22 inches. Get the biggest drawer slide that you can that will fit inside your cabinet. That one's in. And then this one will do the same thing. Okay. So this is all going to work 
like this. And then this, this middle part will pull out. But I need some way of attaching it to the top of the cabinet, right? So I have a piece of plywood here. You could use a one by eight. Um, and it's cut to the depth of the inside of the cabinet. So you'll want to measure your inside of your cabinet and then cut a one by eight or a piece of plywood that's about the size of a one by eight to fit. It can be bigger, but you don't want to go much smaller. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and mount this right on top of it. And I have a face frame on my cabinet, so this, that's why there's an overhang here. This is inside the face frame and then this is outside the face frame. And pretty much this entire, all the pots and pans are going to be hanging off these couple of screws. So let's give it some glue. do one two by two first. I'm not going to do both yet. So what this is doing is it's giving us something to attach uh, right into the cabinet. So now I'm going to make sure after one side is attached that it's sliding good. It's not pinching. adjustments but I do like it so I'm going to flip it over and just add a bunch more screws in here because these screws are really holding this whole thing up and not from not falling so I'm going to get some more screws. Okay make sure one last chance before that glue dries. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and start adding hooks to hang the pots and pans off of. Uh, what I've done is took my overall and figured out where I want every hook. And if you have like specialty pots and pans or you're you know really organized, you may want to space them according to how your pots and pans hang. Um, my philosophy right here is I can always add more hooks. So I'm just going to add them kind of sparse, see how that works, and I can always um, move them or add more. That's the great thing about wood is you got a lot of opportunities to add more. So. Super excited about this. It'll come out. Okay, so this will be for all of the pots and pans, and we'll just hang them by their handle. But what about the lids? Now, you could thread the lid through the handle of your pot or pan and hang it that way. It just seemed like we could come up with something better. So, this organizer will hang in the middle of the cabinet, and the pots will come down right here. So that leaves these two spots at the upper right and upper left of the cabinet open, which is really the ideal spot so you don't have to bend over. So what I'm going to do is make a pull-out lid organizers on both sides that hold all the lids. Okay, so I got all my pieces cut out and what I'm using is a 1x6 that'll be kind of the back of it, what we attach to the cabinet, and then these are the pieces for the lid organizer. So I'm going to glue and nail everything together. I've got inch and a quarter nails. Okay, so basically just making a one by six box. Okay, so I'm going to start installing the drawer slides on my lid organizer. You could probably get away with one drawer slide on the lid organizer, but if you're opening and closing it and you're using it, you know, 10 times a day, you pull the lid out and you put it back in and you get a different lid and then you do dishes and you put all the lids away. I really want something that's going to work and it's really only an extra couple of bucks to add two drawer slides to it. So I'm going to add them like this. Okay, 
Okay, so I've got my two lines and now I can just start attaching the drawer slides to it. So I'll start with the cabinet members. And then all the way down, I'm gonna put my screw right in the middle of the line. I got one on, I'm just gonna repeat that. So this I can set aside. And I've got my lines already drawn on the lid organizer. See if it works. If your drawer slides aren't sliding perfect, just go ahead and loosen up those adjustment screws just a little bit and then slide it a couple times and they'll kind of work themselves into the right spot and then tighten those screws back up. You definitely want this one to slide good because if you're using it every day, you want it to function. So this is the lid organizer. I have some other lids and they won't fit in there. I need to make a wider slot for them. I want them to go all the way down. So, I'll make a single. I'm just tacking it right now to the underside of the cabinet. Um, with some inch and a quarter screws. Make sure you don't do too long of screws and it damages your countertop. But, I also want to tie it into the, to the back here of the cabinet. So I got these brackets, just L-shaped brackets. Okay, so the brackets are gonna transfer some of the weight to the back of the cabinet. I've got screws into the top of the cabinet. I'm also gonna put a couple screws into the face frame to kind of transfer some of that weight into the face frame. So everywhere else I've been using a cabinet screw, this one I'm using a trim head screw, that way I can go back and fill it and finish this with some paint. Okay, and if you're wood splitting, uh, make sure you pre-drill your holes. Okay, let's see if it works. Slides good. I just turn these at just a slight angle, so they're a little easier to put on, and you can kind of see your pans better. And you know, this with the wood here, it's really flexible how you want to put your hooks in. Once I took the drawers out, we have a water line down here to the fridge, um, but it should be pretty easy to just modify that a little bit to get it out of the way. Okay, so now um, that the pots organizer is in, and I know kind of the height, I'm going to put the lids in. Um, so the easiest way to do this is it's all really mounted. Just open it up, put it in there and screw it on. All right, that one's in and I'm just gonna do the other one. What are you doing? Let's see if I can get out of here. this project you hope you know somebody small so we've been using the pot rack in the cabinet for about a month now and everything is working really really good I was unsure of you know if it was gonna work if we were gonna like it if I'm ready to be this organized or not. And uh, the answer is yes on so many levels. It is amazing. It's so nice that we don't have to bend over. Um, I've actually gotten rid of all my excess pots and pans because it's so easy to grab the one that you want. Um, it's easy for my kindergartner to put the dishes away because everything's at his level and he knows exactly where things go. And in fact, the pots and pans are his very favorite thing to put away. So it's just been an all around win. It actually wasn't a very difficult project. If you have the space in your kitchen, this is a huge addition that I promise will make life so much easier, make cooking easier, make dishes easier. 
and just make finding that right pot or pan a joy instead of a chore. In the description you'll find a link to the plan, so head on over there and I'll leave more specifics so that you can build this too, get it installed, and make your life better. Thanks so much for watching this week, we'll see you next Monday. The thing I'm gonna miss is they don't have to bend over anymore. Okay, so what do you think of the pot rack? That's great. I mean, honestly, you don't have to go stuff them under there, dig them out. Pretty easy to get out of them right there. So. I like the fact that I know where the pans are, and obviously the way they were before, they were underneath the cabinet, so they were stacked kind of, sometimes you had to move a bunch of pans to get at one, so way nicer in there, for sure. I mean, if anybody's got the space in their kitchen to make that happen, I think it's well worth your time.